We're living in a cage with invisible walls The wicked sight, guys of life Making grown men crawl On their knees, begging please Save us from the boogeymen Funded by the CIA Funneled through Arabian banks Like a shank to the neck They hit you from the back, no sweat Ho check and watch us shake And take away your freedom You really don't need them When you're tucked away safe And protected by FEMA Then you must be a dreamer Like the great pretender Ask the second amendment Why I'll never surrender But I'll never plead a fifth When it comes to September I'ma yell it from the roof and expose the agenda yeah. Time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix This is going out to the truth as a patriot Living free and dying hard, speaking through battle scars What's up folks, Permanent Patriot here Time to show you some more maps And uh I don't know man, all this uh You guys never heard of Agenda 21 Which I think now they're just calling Agenda 2030 been on the books for a long time and a lot of your rights are tied in with it for instance a lot of the land in America is not owned by America your crooked ass government traitorous treasonous sellouts in lieu of our debt which we don't even owe the government does they have given a lot of our land to other countries to United Nations to big bankers this is the wildlands project map and this is just one though there's a couple different ones um, for instance, this one right here, the green is the federal owned land, and the red is the wilderness that goes to the wild land. Both of these will be off limits to the public. So everything in red and green, just forget about it. Now, this is a simulated map. Um, Basically, this is a, a conservative map. This is the real map, which they happily give out. And uh, you'd have to thumbnail this to really see it, but everything in red, that's federally owned land. And this dark green, that's the federal land. And this light green, which you can barely see, around the, the light green that's the state land and uh, this right here see that little dot there that's our land okay this one is uh, just showing where human access is denied Here's your uh, 1 to 200 mile border, and they have it. This this will be all the way around the country, all the way around. So the core reserves and corridors, little to no human use. Uh, buffer zones, highly regulated use. So everything in white, gray. Step by step, piece by piece. Foundational to the UN Biodiversity Treaty, which was never ratified, by the way, calls approximately 50% of the United States to be set aside as wild lands where no human can enter. Much has been accomplished over the past 10 years toward that goal. Pace is stepping up. Federal agencies under Clinton and Gore, especially with their uh, global warming crop. Um, this controlling the water thing that they got here in California, I think it's just a beta test. It's just a matter of time. And the same thing with the vaccinations, forced vaccinations. Uh, I mean, as nice as Jerry Brown seems, and, you know, Barack Obama, and 
Daryl Steinberg. They could give two shits about you. Probably not even that. So, this is showing a percentage of land owned by the government. And over here in Nevada, you could see why they're on Clive and Bundy's balls. Now, while this, when this ended last year, the year before, the standoff in Nevada, I think, I mean, I knew, but I think all the Patriots knew. I think everyone who knew about that story knew that the BLM would, would be back. They're getting that land. If they got to kill people for it, they will. They will fire the first shot. They will pull their little false flag games. All I'm smelling here with this Oregon shit is set up. Something's just not smelling right. You know, we're going from... I mean, this is no good. So, I mean, they talk about... They try to make it sound good. Folks. 51% of the United States is owned by China. More than the United States people own. There's people who own Northern California towns, Chinese people, who have tried to implement the Chinese flag into their city, flying at their city hall. I'm pretty sure that they own Yosemite Park. They own Yellowstone, Lock, Stock, and Barrel. The Grand Canyon, they own it. Uh, Hoover Dam, and I'm pretty sure you'll, um, Yosemite, they own. Yellowstone, they own. Who the fuck knows what else they own? But anybody that would fucking do that, first of all, if, if you were to pull that in any other country, they would fucking hang you from that flagpole. Here, you want your flag? We'll give you a flag. And they'd fucking hang you from it. These are all set up for when the concentration camps are in place. Let's take a look at this, uh, yeah, our land, collateral for the national debt. Let's take a look at this little meeting that they had about this. So, okay. Over 1,500 people from 60 countries were told that wilderness lands were to protect the reindeer, spotted owl, and other endangered species. 90% of the group consisted of conservationists, ecologists, government, and United Nations bureaucrats. The other 10% were world banking heavyweights, such as David Rockefeller and Edmund de Rothschild. Um, it was George Hunt that wrote the report from which I have gleaned much of my information. Folks, like, you know, they, they tell you all of this stuff right out in the open. So, you know, I don't know why people call, you know, us conspiracy theorists crazy. It's right out in the open. And all your tiny mind has to do is type it in and look it up. End the story. During the first three days, the group was told that the Wilderness Congress was about beating the ozone deterioration and bringing the rainforest back. The following days were closed to the public. With only bankers in attendance, the topics discussed centered on the creation of World Conservation Bank, with collateral being derived from receipt of wilderness properties throughout the world. This bank would have central bank power similar to the Federal Reserve. It would create currency and loans and engage in international discounting, counter trade, barter and swap actions, and corruption. Rothschild personally conducted the monetary matters and the creation of this World Conservation Bank. This bank would refinance by swapping debt for assets.
country with a huge national debt would receive money to pay off the debt by swapping the debt for wilderness lands. The plan was to swap one trillion of the third world debt into this new bank. In the long term, when the countries won't be able to pay off the loans, governments from around the world will give title to their wilderness lands to bankers. They use a lot of jargon like this to throw you off, folks. A country with huge national debt would receive money to pay off the debt by swapping the debt for wilderness land. I mean, they they try to confuse you. It's all about wording. You gotta have a fucking lawyer reading this shit nowadays. So, they're saying, we want collateral, so when we loan swap this debt, we're going to own the Amazon if you default. They're going to make their bad loans good by collateralizing them for the fact with all of this land that somebody is going to end up with a title to 12 and a half billion acres. They have multi, multi barter and counter trade and loan swap against the United States. The World Conservation Bank is a scheme to monetize land. This will function as a world central bank and out of that bank there will be grown a one world flat currency. This isn't some scheme conjured up by the Bush and Clinton administration. The United Nations World Commission on Environment and Development was created in 1982. The commission published the Brundtland Report, settling the state, setting the stage for unlimited attackments to take over ecology and environmental and pollution laws throughout the world. The report stated, we will have a proposal for very harsh, quasi-spiritual, ecological laws for Mother Earth a Mother Earth comes first, mentality will arise throughout the world. More 1984 indoctrinating. And folks, if you, listen, there's two two things. I two two books that absolutely hit the fucking head on the nail and are absolutely true. 1984 and Brave New World. Both of those are their exact plan. Okay? Uh, while you're at it, you might want to check out They Live. You could still see it on YouTube uh, in sections, anyway. That's a great movie about subliminal messaging which they absolutely use and uh, I, I did that other video about uh, Rim of the Valley Agenda 21 talks about it and folks we, we, we've already lost so much this is very bad so, I wish somebody would take some initiative here. Someone in government, someone anywhere. This is too much. They've had this since 1982. And Agenda 21 was way before that. This shit has been in the plan for a long time. They know that a lot of people know. Way too many people. So they're moving as fast as they can with all of this stuff now. Gun laws and everything. Obama can say he don't want the guns till he's fucking blue in the face. And hey, great acting with the tears too, pal. You think he gives two shits about the fucking kids killed? If there were any killed... I mean, we know Sandy Hook, there were no kids killed. Hey, FBI report says for that year, not one fucking person was killed. I didn't say it, the FBI did. 